Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Enjoy the Bounty of Planning with Tonisha Taylor. So I am super, super, super proud of myself because I did not end my work day the second I saw the um, confirmation, delivery confirmation email come for my April cloth and paper subscription box. So um, I think we should all get an applause for that. I think we all did really, really well today. <laughs> So I'm just going to move my planner out of the way um, and we are just going to jump right into this. All I did um, was just release the tape here so I have not looked in this box. Y'all know I like for us to look in it together. So we have the Watsons. Oh, you guys. Oh my gosh. They changed the what's inside card and gave you pictures of what's inside. What's inside? Oh my gosh. Along with the little description. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so let's just open this up. So we're just gonna grab everything. Make sure we've got everything and just move the box out of the way. Okay. So it looks like we got um, just a big frameable, you know what I'm going to refer to these as frameable journal cards <laughs> because they are like they're frameable. They're just big. So this one says, I learned a long time ago, the wisest thing I can do is be on my own side by my Angelou. And I actually, I really like that quote. I used to have that in my email signature like years and years ago. Um, so that's awesome. Okay, so the next thing we have is a dashboard. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We're also going to do, you guys know, I do, when I do my unboxings, I also do a little bit of a setup. And I have been wanting to add some new dashboards to my planner and have been like resisting the urge of buying anything because I knew that this was coming. Um, I didn't know what was going to be in it, but I knew my April box was coming. So it looks like this one is paper. It's a picture of like a wall texture, maybe. It's really pretty. Let's move these to the side. Looks like we got a little bit of box. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Ashley and, you know, at Cloth and Paper has been like allowing us to live our best notepad life lately. <laughs> okay, this one is giving me the blues. Hold on. We're just going to make all kinds of noise throw that on the floor okay so I'm usually not a fan of grid paper but I am a fan of a good notepad so there you go this is the same size as the other notepads that we've been receiving which um last month I think I think this appointment one was in maybe in February or January I think it was January this one was definitely in March and then this new one that we got so they're all the same size um, so, which I think is four by six, four, yep, by six. So that's nice. And I bet if I read the thing, it probably told me that. <laughs> um, okay. So these are page flags and I love me some page flags. So it looks like cloth and paper has created a new layout for some of for their stuff too. So this oops, just rolled over the plastic. Um, so this is a new page flags. These are transparent in um, cordado. This is a really pretty gray color. Ooh, that's so pretty. Look at that. So it is going to be just, yeah, here we go. So see, this is that new color. This is a light gray. That's ash. 
This is Stone, which is a gray, but it's more of a blue color. And then of course we have the Avant Garde, which was in a previous box. So you can see how those look against each other. So Avant Garde is definitely black. If you have the stone, then you know that this is a blue or gray. So this is more of a, a black gray. And then of course you have that really light gray in ash. So that's just a little comparison. Also when these become available in the shop, gives you an idea of what kind of color you might be getting. All right, so then we have, ooh, looks like we've got another, looks like we're gonna have four dashboards this month. Okay. Ah. Okay, so Elsian, I guess. I don't know how to say that. Probably gonna wanna get a pronunciation on that. It means beautiful or creative, divinely inspired, peaceful and perfect. Ooh, I love this. So this is just a vellum. So as you can see, it's just like a clear, not clear, but like a transparent vellum. It's not terribly thick. It's a little bit on the thinner side, as you can tell, um, but that would, that's gonna be pretty. Okay. Ooh, so this is tips to decorate your space. This is also a dashboard, it looks like. So we have been getting, this year, all of the boxes have had like a home theme, um, which is really lovely. So it looks like this was just a really simple kind of architect drawing of like a basic space. So you have your bathroom drawing, your bedroom drawing, your kitchen drawing, and your living room drawing. And then these are just some tips down here. And it looks like there are about 10 maybe. Um, yeah, 10 tips. So it says use rugs to separate zones, um, hang art pieces right at eye level, group decorative objects and odd numbers, test paint samples before committing, so important. Um, hang at least one mirror in every room. Fill empty corners with plants. When in doubt, paint it white. <laughs> That's actually kind of true. Um, everything looks nice against white paint. Um, paint. Place furniture two inches from the walls. That's super important if you're renting because it means that you're not going to end up with scuffed walls. Um, anchor your rugs under furniture feet also very important it limits tripping um if you have an item well sorry if an item doesn't bring you joy lose it um so that's really cool this is kind of a just like a taupe kind of color i'm gonna bring this a little bit closer so you guys can see it um and so it's really pretty it feels nice it's cardstock um lovely Ooh, okay, another word. This one is self-cultivation. Another um, dashboard. So this is, this is really pretty color. I think that this is kind of like this color from the circle page flags from last month. And if I remember correctly, which we're gonna probably not go by that. We're probably gonna try to pull, yep, let me just pull out my what's inside from March. I think that's where we got these. Yes, so this is beignet. So this kind of, the color of this card is similar to that. So um, I would say, yeah. So it's kind of like a light, kind of light gray but kind of with a little bit of a brown undertone to it um if that helps I know the light is kind of white that I'm using here so you might not be able to see as well um but it's definitely like a light taupe so it says self-cultivation, which is a noun, the gradual process of acquiring knowledge, the effort of developing one's physical and mental capabilities. So that is absolutely beautiful. 
totally going in the book today. And then we have, oh my gosh, we have a pen. Okay, <laughs> before we get to that, put that over there. We have a, oh wow. Okay, so we have a um, set of home sheets which just say home refresh plus renovation. And so you have to do list up here, then you have a supply list, and then you have a dot grid space for nips. So this is super, super cute. All right, so y'all know I just take all of the pages out of the plastic. I don't store mine in, oh wait, hold on. Oh gosh, so glad I took that out of the plastic. Oh my gosh, you guys, wait, hold on. Oh my gosh, wait, hold on. Totally thought they were all gonna be this. This is like a whole package. Okay, wait, we have to like, we have to take our time now because this is a whole package. So, okay. So it says home refresh and renovation. Up here it says to do supply list notes. Then on the back, we have contact information and notes and we have um, three or six opportunities to list contacts with notes. So you have contact service, phone, email, and that repeats. So you have two columns of that. And then you have your mood board. Design concept, color scheme, textures, decor and accents, and then photos plus inspiration that you can put right here. And it looks like we're going to have two, three, four, five, five pages of mood board inspiration. So this is so interesting to me. So I, I'm going to try not to, I'm like rolling over everything. Okay. So I am, I live in Texas. I have been out of my home since the February storm and I've been getting everything worked on and I'll be able to go back to my rental. Um, but I have been kind of thinking about the possibility of doing some redecorating. This is an awesome opportunity if you've been thinking about doing some redecorating and you get this sub box. This is an op awesome opportunity to do that. So I'm going to bring this a little bit closer, focus on it so that you can see kind of how the boxes are laid out. So you've got a nice big box here for design concept. Up here you have enough space. You could write the room that you're doing right up here at the top if you wanted right so like right up here then you have your color scheme and you've got some nice boxes where you could do a little color swatching you know if you wanted to like just grab some of like i just randomly grab some tumbos okay um but you could do like some color swatching um to be able to figure out what might you know look cute together and then you have a place to write in your textures and you have four textures and then your decor and accents and then your photo inspiration. And like I said, you have five of those. On the back of the last page of that is going to be a space layout and planning. So this is a grid um, and it's a grid paper. So it looks like what you have is you have a bunch of grid boxes across here. I'm just gonna bring that closer so you can see. So see how each grid, like each little box of four, so you have four across and you have four down, which makes a box. And then you go across with that number of boxes and then down. So this would allow you to really be able to measure out your space and then plan your space layout to scale on this paper. So that is awesome. And then, oh, and I also, I didn't point out, you've got a space here to write the name of your space. So bedroom, bathroom, living room, whatever. Okay. And it looks like we are going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine um, space layout planning pages. And then this last page, um, they have given us a demo page so that we know how to use this space layout page. So I really like this. This is really cute. So it tells you, you know, they're doing for the living room on this example. They've written in like old furniture, new pieces, possible arrangement. And then this is like some possible arrangements of ways that you could lay out your furniture. So this is really cute. Now, if you are not an architect by training or an interior designer by training and can't necessarily or wouldn't necessarily draw out your, your drawing this detailed, um, you know, certainly you could give, you know, I would just do a long rectangle probably and just put a C in it. So I know that's the couch, <laughs> right? And a CH in a square so that I know that it is a chair right um so this is really cute really really cute bundle so let's just put that like we're just gonna leave that here let's get back in focus so it looks like we have just a couple more things to open so we also have some arrow sticky notes, which I know is are new to cloth and paper. So, but you know, you can't go wrong with sticky notes. Like who doesn't love sticky notes? So these are in the color Angora, which is just a really, really light gray. I know it reads white in this light, but it's actually gray. It looks like it's gray on one side and white on the other. So you can actually tell because that's the back and that's white, and this is the front and that's gray. Okay, so those are super cute. All right, let's look at what we've got in our journaling card bundle. And you guys know I love my little journaling cards. I keep them in the box right here. Um, so I don't usually use the paper one, but you know, some months I might. I usually use this, um, the, the sort of the plastic one. Um, so these are for June and then we have these little journaling cards. So this one says, and now after everything, you will cave in. You are ringing from, rising from the ashes, sorry. You are starting again. And this is a quote from Morgan Harper Nichols. And then this other one is a quote that says, to make living itself an art, that is the goal. And this quote is from Henry Miller. Okay, so those are our quote cards that we have. And then our date cards. So I am going to go ahead. I always just clip mine together. So I'm going to use one of my little decorative rose gold coffee cup paper clips. And just clip that right on there. Actually, I think I want to clip it on this way. So I got to see the little coffee cup. And then I'm just going to stick it right back here. So I have back here, oops, not all the way back there. Those are the 2020 ones. So I have here already the April ones. So again, I don't really use the paper one. And then this is just a journaling card I decided not to do any decor with. So I just keep those together. And then I have my little May bundle here and my June bundle now. And so I just leave these right here in my little tray with all my notes, all my notepads and sticky notes and stuff like that. Um, and then that way I just have them when it's time to start planning for the month. So actually let me take this out cause I am gonna take a picture. All right, and then we have one last thing which it looks like is an erasable gel pen. I haven't used an erasable gel pen and I don't even know how long. Let's see how good it is. Um, okay, do I wanna use, 
Let's see, is this paper? It's probably paper. Yeah, it's a little glossy, but let's see how this, we'll try it on a couple of different things. So I don't usually like black pens, but I'll give it a try. How am I making this pen work? Oh my gosh, I sh it should not be this hard. <laughs> It looks like it's a ballpoint pen, but I am pushing and nothing is happening. Is it a twister? Uh-oh. Oh, friends. Okay. It's not necessarily that. Okay, that's definitely, oh. Wow, that like erased the little stuff that was there. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> that took a second. So you actually push down on the little um, clip in order to get it to pop out. Okay, so let's just get that little, that little protective plastic ball off of there. Okay. Let's move this over and let's just test now that we got it to work. Okay, so it's got a nice um, kind of roll on it. I'm gonna kind of focus in a little bit and I'm gonna bring it up and show you more clearly. Okay, so I write small, <laughs> but it does have a nice um, kind of roll to it. It is not a super bold black, which is nice because I don't always use black pens. I used to never use black pens, but now I use them more often mostly because I bought this beautiful look at that this absolutely gorgeous black fountain pen with rose gold trim that I absolutely love so like I'll test this real quick against this so you can see um Okay, so you can see that the fountain pen ink next to the um, gel ink, that just gives you an idea of how much darker black ink could potentially be. Um, let me see, do I have another black pen I can try? Like I said, I don't, I just started using black pens again. So I'm usually like, if I don't use a color, like, pink or green or blue or something <laughs> or not blue I usually use blue if I have to use blue or black ink I use blue um, but this gives you an idea so let's see how it erases um okay so yeah kind of it's not like totally gone it's not like a pencil obviously um so you can see that you have shadowing left behind um so you know that a word was there um you can actually let me see if you can you might actually even be able to tell that you can actually see the word i don't know if it shows up on camera as much but you can definitely see the word on the paper um just out of curiosity. Yeah, nothing happens across the fountain pen. So you could layer your wording <laughs> um, if you wanted to, and that's fine. Um, so that's that's interesting. So we'll see. 
I mean, you can't ever be unhappy with a pen, right? So might as well use it since it's here, I guess. Um, but yeah, so, okay. So let's do a little bit, y'all know I like to do a little bit of a setup whenever I get new items from cloth and paper. So let's just move this over. Let's make sure we are in the actual frame. Okay, so I, can I just say again how much I love these? They are so, so stinking pretty. Just so pretty. Okay, especially like this is in case you, um, you can look, I do a notique. I have an unboxing video for my planner. Um, this cover is from Notique. It is the stone gray. And it looks so good with these inserts. Okay, I feel like there's a bunch of stuff in the way. Let's put all of these Tombow pens back in my little flower pot where all the pens live, <laughs> where this pen is gonna end up living. Kind of move things out of the way a little bit. So I normally have these um, just like I like to keep these little, these ones are from um, Fancy Plans. I usually have these just tucked right in here. They're just beautiful as decor and then also as, they're also useful. <laughs> so um, I did change out my decor a little bit and put this um, card from Cloth and Paper back here as just a little bit of decor. This is the new thank you card and then um, just slide those in again i use the um the plastic journaling card for the month and then i just have here my um ollie clip to just kind of hold it in there and then i use um a sticky to and this is just a page flag this one i think is actually the one in I think that's either I think it's French 75 is the actual color of this flag and so I'll just move this one down because I see I didn't do that last week and I just move it down to highlight the weeks so it highlights the current week and the following week and that way when I'm looking at it in my planner I know where I am in the week right and like i said i just use the ollie clip there to just clip it in and so it's functional and it gives me some decor and it's just super cute and then i just have this other journaling card from cloth and paper so i added a new section and i actually recorded a plan with me video when i did it then i accidentally dropped my um so my, I was actually used my phone to record it on um, and dropped my phone and my, and it had the actual uh, memory card, the disc, um, kind of the thumb drive, that's what I'm looking for. And it broke it, lost my video. I could cry. So no plan with me video on that one. So let's go ahead and it was a little bit of a plan and a flip through. So because I've been kind of wanting to do some new setup, I'm going to do a little bit of flip through too. So this is my work section. I'm just going to flip past that section. And then as I said in a previous video, I like to use my Ollie clip and clip the plastic divider, the, um, uh, dashboard and the month um, the month divider uh, to the first page of the month so for me because all of that is clipped together right I'm not flipping through all of these pages to get to my month I don't really make use of this front page. I might for a little bit of pre-planning, but once the month gets started, I don't really use it. So it doesn't bother me to have it clipped all together. 
In fact, I really like it clipped all together <laughs> because again, then I'm not flipping through all of my decor and everything to get to my month, to get started, okay? And then I have my, um, my page marker and then my next month, I already have a vellum here. I think I'm gonna keep that. What I added is I moved my notes section up into the work section. Um, because I realized I keep all of my notes for my meetings and everything in a really, whoops, in a notebook that's on expander discs. So this, uh, these are all the notes for the meetings for this year, for this academic year. Um, but I have stuff that I need to keep with me when, so that when I'm in a meeting, I know what I'm doing. And this is actually where I wanted to add a dashboard because I was like, I want a little bit of decor um, behind this. And then on top of that, so right now what I have is this one, um, which was in, I can't remember which box this was in, you guys. Um, maybe February? I don't remember. <laughs> so I think because I am going to add a section for this, and I think I am just gonna add this to the front. I think what I want to do is actually use this vellum and dashboard because that layering is gorgeous and just put this right in here. Now, I don't think I mentioned it in this video, but I use a classic size and the classic size is, and I have it written here so I don't forget. The classic size is essentially the same as a B5 size bind, uh, notebook or journal. If you um, used the, I think this like the medium size basically from um, Scribbles That Matter, for example, or Electrum, they were actually both listed as B5. Um, so it's seven by 7.2 by 10.1. A classic happy planner is seven by nine or nine, seven by 9.25. So it's really this part, the divider part that comes out to 9.25. Um, and so that is that is that. Um, but I love this. So these little divider tabs are actually um, the uh, divider note pages or divider uh, flags tab sticky notes that's what I'm looking for they're the tab sticky notes so they're the tab sticky notes in cotton so this is the matte which is like a paper and then this is the transparent sticky note okay and that's what I used for um, my little dividers that I did because I didn't necessarily want to buy dividers, but I obviously need dividers. So that's what I decided to go with. Um, and then this way, this will give me a, it gives me a divider to stick my tab on so that I can know what section I'm in, right? And so for each section, I use either a vellum or um, for this one, because this is my section of notes for my graduate students, I decided to use um, the actual plastic divider that I was using for this section uh, because I had two actually that I was using at a top tab and then I had a side tab in my notebook. So I decided to pull the side tab out and put it in here. And then this is a dashboard from, um, I think this dashboard was from March. Um, and then because these are student names, I'm gonna go ahead and just yep, flip that. <laughs> so that's actually why I have this paper clipped as well. Um, and then I had this divider from Planner Press that says, because I'm addicted to that feeling of having my shit together. 
and then I just printed out this uh, in uh, this little picture literally on just like regular printer paper <laughs> um and it is from where did I oh Canva so that's where I printed that from and then this window divider is from the March box so I just added this in um to go there with those notes so what I want to do so we have that and then I have my future log and then my monthly for um April um May and June and I already have yeah I think I already have vellums or dashboards and for these yes I do okay that I'm gonna be using which I'm already happy with so let's use let's go to the research section so we got this logo file um, dashboard in March which I absolutely love over my um, uh, research pipeline which I just printed this this art this clip art is from at uh, at art digital on etsy i'll tag it in the description and then i just typed uh this uh quote from zora no hurston which is my favorite quote and it just says research is formalized curiosity it is poking and prying with a purpose which i love so and then my research pipeline and i have another video in here about doing a research pipeline so I'm not gonna talk about that now um, and then what I think I want to do is use this yeah I'm gonna put this dashboard here to just start off the notes I'm not gonna do a dashboard for each one of these sections because I really feel like just using these little half circles as tabs to mark each project is frankly good enough because and actually what I'm gonna do for this one yeah what I'm gonna do for this one is actually move this to a top tab because the first part of this project is actually over um, so I can move that to the top and then I did add a new section. So I have my research section and then I have my habit tracker section. And so I did the same thing here. I just clipped this um, so that when I opened it, when I went to this tab, it opens to the month of April. And then this is just clipped so that it opens to the current week that I'm on because I don't have another um, page uh, bookmark. I do have some in my um, on my planner cart. And so when I get back into my house, I'll be able to just use them from the cart. Um, and then in my home section, I have this vellum which I created um, from clip art from um, AT Art Digital, um, which again I'll tag. She has a shop on Etsy. I'll tag it in the description, and I just use one of my little rose gold coffee cup paper clips. Um, and then this little home sticker is from um, the home stickers. Um, icons and boxes from Fancy Plans. So let's see, do we want to use this divider? Or this dashboard rather? Ooh, not really. <laughs> Maybe we'll just use it. Yeah. Like I want to use it, but I don't want to use it under the vellum. So what we can do is just use it here because that actually is really cute. And then we'll still just keep this clip together. Oops, come on. There we go. And that's really cute. 
So I don't want to make this too big because um, I really kind of have a bunch of planners in here already or a bunch of sections, more sections than I usually have. Um, so I'm not going to add these pages, but I am going to go ahead because I don't want anything to mess these up. So the way that I keep the pages nice that I'm not using is I stick them just in here. Um, and so this way it just keeps everything really nice. So let's just put this in the back, which these are the um, sort of, that's a month of inserts that came this was the horizontal weekly undated. Not really a horizontal planner, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, so that's, they'll probably stay in here forever unless uh, someone in my life, which let's face it, I often have graduate students who wanna learn how to do planning, but don't know where to start. So I'll probably end up giving those inserts to one of them. <laughs> All right, so that's that. So this is what we have for our April box. I am super excited about this. I think that the stuff that came in this box is super cute. So let's go ahead and pull, where are the, oh, they're over here. <laughs> the June journaling cards and the notebook. And this quote from my Angelou, which is amazing. So this is what we got this month. So I think that I am, I think I'm really happy with the box. I really love, I think this is going to be a great piece of decor also. It's going to come up closer to that. Isn't that super sweet? So the, um, yeah, so it's just in, it just says it's a visual reference but it just tells you everything that came in the box and what you got. But look at, isn't that is gonna be a super cute piece of decor also. Cause I don't know about y'all. I mean, I do keep my what's insides, right? So I have them and as you can see, I highlight so I can easily remember what or see when I pick up the box, when I pick it up, what's inside. Um, but I think that this is really cute. So I'm just going to highlight this one. So this is the April stationery box. But I think that would also, you could punch this and use that as some really cute decor. Or just slide it into one of the, um, one of the little pockets in your planner and use that for some really cute decor too. So there you go. Super cute. All right, so this is what we have for the April subscription box. Um, if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and put those in the comment section below. Um, of course, uh, be sure to hit the subscription button and the notification button so you'll know whenever I have new content as well. All right. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. You guys have a great day. Enjoy the bounty of your plans. Bye.